Hello and welcome to another update from Midwest Container Home. What you're watching there is the starting uh, stage of the shipping container barn. So uh, I've decided to build a barn uh, for many reasons and one of them will be to house animals especially during the cold months of the year. So what you're watching there is the crane coming over to lift them from the ground up on the foundation um, that were recently poured. So it's just a, a pillar that were, that were poured. Um, so after that is done, I will mark a pause there. I just wanted to finish that now because it required some of the same resources that I used to build a platform for my uh, my uh, my tanks for my gas tanks um, so in order to get my tanks I needed to have a place for them to sit because I did not want them to sit on the ground so when you sit them on the ground it cuts down their lifespan so I decided to put them on on, uh, on a concrete platform so already being in the process of building that platform I required some helping hands and I required some uh, some materials some tools then I just went ahead and I built the footing. I poured the footing for the barn. So for now, the barn will mark a stop for a little while, a few weeks, until I come back to it. <clears throat> so uh, that was done. And um, now back on the, uh, so the video will roll, will roll to the tanks here in a minute. So back on the, uh, <clears throat> on the propane tanks here, when we get to it in most cases people just partner with uh, propane uh, companies and rent those tanks but I decided to that in my case I wanted to buy them instead just for the long-term savings because while doing the research and the build and the energy and all that stuff I came to realize that when you rent the tank you are locked in by the company that you rent the tanks from and oh yeah that's some of the framing <laughs> on the top deck there on the patio deck and that's my son helping me so i came to realize if you rent it <clears throat> to for a small amount which is under 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 200 dollars i think it's actually right around 100 dollars you could rent those tanks each year and just pay for gas but i figured that if i have it i'm going to be trapped in and i can only be supplied by the company that i'm renting from so I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet right now and buy my tanks. And I'll be having two tanks. So a total of 2,000 gallons of uh, propane. So that's the tank over there that's already installed. That's the first tank. So the second one is coming in a few days. So by having those tanks, I can pretty much purchase propane from anyone. I might be purchasing from the same company I bought it from, unless there's a reason for me to switch elsewhere but I still wanted to reserve that right. I wanted to have that freedom to be able to swap companies and get gas from whoever is available. One of the benefits of building, it's tough to build over time. One of the benefits of building over time is that you learn things, things that you were not prepared to find out, things that, but you have so much time. Since you're building over time, you try to walk out a mechanism whereby uh, you can reduce the impact on you and and this was one of them yes it is hard to buy or to buy it now but it is justified because building it over time i've realized the level of cold that because it's not within the city right it gets much colder outside of the city because there's no cars driving there's no building that are heated there's no ind industry there's no factory all of those things produce heat which kind of helps to mitigate the level of cold within the city but when you're outside of the city you don't have those things that kind of contribute to heating the city a little bit so it gets really, really cold so my sense was i need to make sure that I never have any problem when it comes to uh, when it comes to heating. I mean, AC, all that I can live without AC, but I can't 
live it's not even possible for a human being to live without without heat without having your house heated water won't flow the pipes will freeze everything will go down the drain so i decided to go ahead and just afford myself that freedom again it is tough it is hard and i must say though that the guys that i'm working with um from uh, from this propane company uh, they're called agriland uh, agriland fs they're based out of they're, they're based in different areas but the guys that i'm dealing with are based out of winterset iowa uh, that's in central iowa they've treated me well so they're, they're doing everything that are supposed to be done for a customer that I've done before, so it's always refreshing to come across people who are willing to invest the time to inform you about what they do. So that's the trenching process. What you're seeing there, they're trenching the line. So they've installed it the first time. You trench the line all the way into the house. Install the regulator by the foot of the house, by the wall, where it's trenching there. And then the second tank will come. I was waiting to uh, for the second tank to be available. Um, so once that's done, uh, I will just wait for everything else to be done. I don't even need to have full paint in here. I was just at the point where I needed that installed. So I'm building these stages and I have plans that I'm essentially following. I have my own plan. I need certain things to happen at certain times. So far, I've had a few delays, but usually when I have delays in these things, it's just on things that I absolutely cannot control. Because there are things that we have control over, there are things that we simply cannot control. So I've had some delays. Like by this time, I was hoping to be able to have my basement windows already, but I have not been. Because the, some of the dimensions that I will need, I need to be, I needed to be custom. Right? So they need to be custom made. Um, but I'm still looking to see if I can find it somewhere. I they need to have one. That those are some of the delays that I have. The delay, for example, when I'm doing concrete work, is because I cannot get, I cannot get, uh, I cannot easily or conveniently just call a concrete company and have concrete delivered. So I always have to find someone who is willing to do it for me. I have to hire someone where I did not originally plan to hire someone. So that just makes it tough. Anyway, thanks for watching and. Uh, There'll be more when I have more. I know there's some gaps between videos, but it's because I've been walking. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. Bye-bye.